welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah. Hey guys, how are ya? <sighs> We're back again with another video. And this one is going super speed, 3000, so please, you know, let's follow along. I already have the tips on. They're pre-shaped. We're going to stick with the um, tapered square look. Really, this is coffin. Let me not say tapered square. This is more like a coffin look. I'm, t I'm tapering these in more than tapered square. Right now, I am also, um, uh, what I said, I get so stuck on this part. I am blending in the tip with a natural nail. That's what I'm doing right now. And I'm using an 88 grit vial. Right now, we're putting down a thin layer of clear. We're using our uh, Mia Secret Clear. We almost out, as you can see. We're also using Mia Secret Monomer. And the brush that I'm using is from IGL Beauty. So, yeah. As you can see, I suck at cleaning my brush off because I have not even touched the paper towel. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, yep, yep. Then layer clear. Then layer clear. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. So, this blue that I'm using, Dust Glow in the Dark, is from nail supply glamour i forget the name i think it's something like no more drama or something like that it's really cute mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes ma'am yes lord this finger is going to be all blue this is a, a freestyle set so none of the fingers are the same here we go tame the top tame the top bring it on down bring it on down seal the cuticle side to side side to side bring it on down bring it on down yep just like that just like that. Tame it, tame it, tame it. Well, not tame it, but, you know, we keep the shape. Pat the shape, pat the shape. I, I have been really good at not swiping the sides, y'all. Be proud of me. Be proud of me. And buy me some Prada. Just kidding, just kidding. But, yeah, so here we go. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Keep the shape, keep the shape. Keep the shape, keep the shape. I didn't feel the need to, like, zoom in on this. So my apologies if you feel like we're too far away. Oh, look at that blend. Look at that blend. Here we go. Tame the top, tame the top, tame the top, tame the top. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Yep, just like that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, then I messed it up. I messed it up. I didn't know how to fix it. So here I am messing it up even more. <sighs> it was a struggle. But I got it. As you can see, I got it. It looks good. But I still ain't satisfied. Okay, okay. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. Okay. And then the blue started to um, stain the nude. And I'm like, oh my God, this is too much. I was like, okay, let me let it dry a little bit. I think I put just like one more bead on top. See, you see how it look. All right. We get a clear nail, a marble nail. Yep. Just like that. A marble nail with some clear and some blue. And we added some blue butterflies. Mm-hmm. Stick them in. Stick them in there. Stick them in there. Okay. Then we gon' go ahead and put it down. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. There we go. Oh, it's still, you can still see it a little bit, though. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Type it in, tap it in, tap it in. Go around, go around. You can still see that blue. Remember when I say when you're doing ombre, it's best to put that color right on top to see if it's even going to blend together. That's what I'm talking about. Can I even cover this nail? Right now we're encapsulating. We're about to encapsulate that. Mm-hmm. Encapsulate the first nail. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. Take it on top. Take it on top. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. Oh, matter of fact, I took off that clear and then I put down a glitter on top of that. And now I'm going to encapsulate it. Yeah. Tap it in, tap it in. Tame the top, tame the top. Yep, yep, yep. Bring it on down, bring it on down. Clean it up. Ooh. There she go. Okay, bring it on down, bring it on down. Yep. Encapsulate it. Okay. Yep, bring it on down. Tap it in, tap it in. Seal it, seal it, seal it. Keep the shape, keep the shape. Ooh, look at that encapsulation encapsulation ladies tame it tame it tame it bring it on down bring it on down yep 
need a little bit more monomer. Encapsulate it some more because some of the butterflies are still sticking out. Yes, ma'am. Encapsulate. When you do an ombre, you don't have to encapsulate from the cuticle. You can, but you don't have to because it's just going to make the nail look a little bit more thicker than it actually has to be. Tame it, tame it, tame it. Bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on down, bring it on. I think her nail was burning just a little bit, which is why she keeps shaking her hand. I think it was the, um, probably the temperature in my room. But yeah, keep the shape, keep the shape. Okay, now we're going to do a glitter nail. The glitter that I got is from uh, Amazon. And I just mixed it with some clear acrylic just to get this pretty 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 blue there we go we're gonna bring it together we're gonna put it in put it in put it in mm -hmm. just like that just like that and then i also put down a uh iridescent glitter on top as you can see oh yep it's an ab glitter from uh nail supply glamour it's number two i know that one by heart because it's the blue one. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that glitter. Look at that glitter. Bite into it. Cream feeling shoot all in your mouth. Glitter. I probably don't even know what movie that's from. But anyways, we're gonna keep it right on moving. So yeah. I kept in both the glitter nails. Here we go, we're gonna encapsulate it. Boop, 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 boop. Now we're done, time to reshape. The file I'm using is my 8080 grit file. Make sure you focus on tapering in where the natural nail and the tip meet, right there, right there. You see, you see, right there. Bring it in, son, bring it in. Yes, ma'am. Bring it in, there we go. Go across it if you need to bring it in yep just like that it also helps with your shaping if you uh bring that in some that's why you see my um hand file is tapered in it's inward it's not like straight up against the nail and i don't have to do a lot of like actual reshaping because i take my time when I'm doing my application most of my focuses are um on making sure the sides aren't bulky not necessarily reshaping the nail here I am using my sanding band I'm going around going across trying to cut down some of the bulk around the cuticle and also trying to get some of them scratches off the nail if I just use the hand file so yeah go around go around go around mm-hmm Focusing, yep, cutting down some of that bulk on that cuticle. So when I come back with my cuticle bit, everything is love. Yep, those look so good. There we go, cuticle bit. This is a tapered, um, a tapered extra fine pen a bit, like a cone type bit. There we go. I'm sorry, you can't really see because I got the nail going downward. My apologies, but I did want to leave it in just so. You know the video seems complete but yeah i'm sorry the fan on the freaking computer just started up it really did it just started up so my apologies and i do have videos uploading on youtube right now as we speak dust your clients off please make sure you dust your clients off and also go around their cuticles with a alcohol wipe so you can clear all that dust off for them before they go wash their hands because some people don't know how to properly get all that off so yeah just make sure you you know do what you can the uh rhinestone glue i'm using is mccart always going to be mccart it used to be zule but zule's always get stuck so it's like i would wasted my ten dollars and i can't even open this bottle so i'll be mad so i'll just like let me just stick to something i know the rhinestones i got from amazon we're going to stone out this pinky make it real nice Yes, ma'am. Yes, we are. Uh, so right now I'm just gonna do stone placement. I don't really have much else to say about the stone placement. Uh, we've encapsulated, we reshaped, we've um, did our application process. I didn't show you guys the prep, but you guys know how to prep. Come on, come on. Sometimes I will still show it to you, but I feel like you guys know how to prep. 
Uh, so all the stones I got from Amazon, the stone picker I got from Amazon, the McCart rhinestone glue I got from Amazon. Everything gets from Amazon, y'all. Amazon! Amazon! So yeah, I'm going to just let you guys watch. Um, you guys already know what the top coat is. The top coat is Beatles top coat. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Lord. Once again, we're on the road to 500 subscribers. Really, we need to be on the road to 100K, but we ain't even made it 500. So, you know, it is what it is, but, you know. I just want to come in, put this video in, and I'm about to let you guys listen to the music and be on my way. So once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the comments, all the subscriptions, all the um, likes. I really appreciate it. I want you guys to continue running it up. Tell a friend to tell a friend because we ain't going nowhere. So yeah, y'all listen to the music, check out some more videos, and I'll see y'all later in the next video. Bye! Thank you.